welcome everybody, this is Botany and Board, I am Bailey, um, and today I have a, just kind of a casual video for you. I am just going to be sorting through all my Season 2 Kickstarter from Final Girl and getting everything kind of coordinated, so I thought I would just hang out with you guys if you thought this was interesting, and maybe this will help you when you're organizing yours as well. So, <clears throat> first off, the big beautiful box cover, um, love it. Getting the big boxes was honestly like my um, favorite thing that I <laughs> was excited about almost, other than of course like getting to play the game again um, of the new stuff, but I was really excited to get the big storage boxes. So uh, just anytime something can be organized, so nice. Okay, so I was in the midst of putting through the minis. So put all the final girl minis in here. So this is new for season two. This is the cast and crew box. So all the minis go right in here and then it looks like the girls secret envelopes will go right underneath here and then also the girls final girl cards will go over here. And then the terror from the grave vignette um, and all the little zombie miniatures, little horde and then the little zombie miniatures themselves, which this, I don't know about you, but like every time I see this little miniature here, I just totally see the Wednesday's dance, the little, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I cannot un unhear that song now <laughs> when I look at those. Um, okay, so then I have the killer, uh, different miniatures here that I still need to put away. Several more. Um, strong, tough, and there's the crawling one. Fast. <laughs> and what's this? Oh, a hatchling. Let's go with the Evamorph. And a youngling. Okay. The intruders. And then Ratchet Lady. Okay, so next up, let's see what we have. So there's some season one. Okay, I already got that stuff out of the box there. And then sure, season one, season one. Okay, all right. Okay, so we also have this new box of props is another additional new thing. So I feel like I'm going to go ahead and open up the killers. That way I can put the killer miniatures away here. Should have brought some scissors. I'm going to have to go get some. <laughs> So we are going on vacation, leaving on Tuesday, actually. We're going to go to just an all-inclusive resort in Cancun. Uh, we went to one a couple years ago in 2020, and it was a nice, relaxing type of vacation, and I feel like that's all I can handle for myself <laughs> at this point in time. Um, You guys will have to let me know down in the comments if you guys also backed Final Girl um, and which one you are most excited about playing. If you did. And trash. I'll use the bottom of this section. Trash. Okay. Right there. All right. Ratchet Lady. I am very interested in this one. This is the one when I was like seeing the Kickstarter come out and like just looking through the different ones I was like oh yes Ratchet Lady that's totally up my alley for sure she has no upper health value hmm. interesting okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just place the hmm yeah it looks like they've uh slightly tweaked I think their little basins perhaps okay so here's Heather's thing so I'll go ahead and put her there <laughs> I 
I don't know if you guys can see that. It says the word killer. I didn't just like say that for randomness. I am kind of a random person, as you've probably figured out by now. But <laughs> um, I feel like since I I don't really need a bag since those are okay, Roger. different action cards and then also the <clears throat> of course the tarot deck for this as well calm mm, so nice <laughs> um okay and then so we also have some epic finales over here so i want to make sure i get the is this uh gotcha yep there we are so an extra, we must have unlocked maybe an extra set of epic finale cards during the Kickstarter, my guess is, is why we have those. Feed the madness. Hold her down. <laughs> this is great. Heather and Veronica. So I will take them out so that that way, again, we can um, put them underneath here in this little, I'm currently covering it up. All right, so put those back. The retro lady. Okay, and then on the other side, in order to get this lady out. Okay, the Wolf Asylum, nice. Have a nice close up for you guys of that one. Doctor's office, operating theater. Creepy. <laughs> Solitary confinement. Don't want to be in there. Looks terrible. Unless, of course, you're allowed to bring games into your solitary confinement. Which case might not be so bad. <laughs> okay, so on this side we don't have a killer we need to put in, so we're good there. But... So again, so I'm gonna put like Veronica and Heather's little envelopes over here, and then their actual final girl cards over there. Once upon a full moon. Initially, this is the one that I was, one of the ones I would say I was like maybe least excited about. Um, just because it's a little, I don't know, I always like go for a Final Girl partly because if I enjoy that it finally gives like a board game, like an adult theme and it's like horror and it doesn't have to be kind of kiddish and so this is the only one that I'd say like gets a little too back into that like kiddish like storybook rugs and big bad wolf it's a little I don't know not it doesn't seem like it'll be my favorite but maybe it'll surprise me um you never know I do like the the look of the wolf is nice. They and I like the look of him on the front of the the big box as well. So I do like that. But he just I don't know for some reason the it just wasn't seeming as scary. But but he'll probably be like really vicious and kick my butt and then I'll change my tune. <laughs> One more bite. Oh, 
Oh, I see. The one is an epic finale, and one's an epic dark power. So for whatever reason, the epic finales are what we are, we're like wrapped separately. So we're just putting them in the, putting them in the right area now. Also, I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but, and if you've watched my playthroughs, you probably figured this out already, but I also use the, um, just like the bottom of this and I take out this and I use this as like my dice tray, whatever I'm rolling stuff. And then it's kind of nice because it gives you a nice little, uh, like who you're playing against and then somewhere to put through, put the dice because I actually don't own anything to roll dice in as of yet. Big <laughs> Wrinkle that a little bit. Oops. Gretel, Gretel in red, <laughs> of course. I missed <clears throat> the girl cards. Open the other side back up. knock at the door so this is the other one that I um, another one that I think looks really interesting so the intruders I think this one is um, yeah lock the doors the Wingard cottage I think this one like maybe they like their it starts where it's like you have three people that have intruded in your house already. Like I think the killers are already in there, perhaps. I don't know. Haven't played it, haven't read the rules. <laughs> we'll find out. It's got a little bit of bloody nose. Casual. <laughs> That's a lot of items here. Hmm. So it says you have some crafted item cards and item cards and then supply item cards in this one. So interesting. Ooh, six health per killer. Man. You must really gotta... Maybe that's like with the items. Maybe you have to like build a bomb or something. <laughs> so there's no red one. So that must just come from the... I don't know, maybe the core box or something. <clears throat> A 
Ava and Ginny. So the organism. So this is what we're going to be playing first, because uh, my dear commenter and new subscriber friend Greg and I were chatting, and uh, we decided this is what I'm going to play first. So get excited. <laughs> So this one is based off of uh, The Thing, which I have actually not watched The Thing. Um, so, see here's some more of these. Again, I am white, but not the red. But this one does inter interest me a lot because I love that like reveal aspect anytime in a game where it's like, oh, are you, it's kind of like, are you a traitor? It's like, is this, uh, is this meeple infected and is it actually an organism? And so I think the way this one works too is you can play either, it could be that one of the things is infected. So there's these three spots up here. And so I think you can either have like one or up to three monsters because there's this like two headed guy, which is strong, tough, and then um, fast is the little one. And so they each get one. So they might not all like spawn and it could just be regular regular victims but then if they're exposed and then they turn into um you have to test them to see if they have been turned into an organism so very intriguing oh yeah here's just to show you guys off some more stuff. Here's kind of the organisms themselves. So here must be the fast one. Tough one, I guess. Is that what I said they were? <laughs> tough, yes. He's a tough. Hmm. Very interesting. And then as you guys can probably kind of see down in the box, you can see how it has the picture of below it, like what's supposed to go where. Um, so you can see the ratchet lady right there. And then, so that's where she, her little box. I mean, not that it would have to go in this order, but it is nice that they put and depicted everything. So you know how to put stuff away. They're just so nice. This one's shrink feels extraordinarily tight here. <laughs> Don't cut my box. So the only downside is the fact that we are going on vacation <laughs> and so I probably won't be able to get stuff up on the channel quite as early as I would have otherwise had I been here um, for the week, but that is okay. We will, I will be anxiously waiting when I get back to, to do some playthroughs and get them up on the channel for you guys. So we're doing the organism first, but um, I'll try to put up something on the channel page to maybe vote to see what one we do next so you guys can choose between the other feature films. Let's see what we should try out second. This 
So similarly, so I think the epimorph is supposed to be based on the alien, and I have not seen, or is it alien, the alien? I don't know. Again, haven't seen it. <laughs> um, who was it? I think I think it was Tom, maybe that was just saying Tom Bassel the other day when I was watching the Dice Tower. I think he said that like he felt like um, was it Tom that was talking about that? Now I'm now I'm second guessing that. I feel like I don't know why they would have been talking about it. Anyway, somebody I was listening to said that they actually thought that, um, uh, I think Alien, like, actually, like, stood up to the test of time, and it's actually still a good movie. like I'm not doing a very good job at putting away all my stuff because I keep forgetting to do things like put these in the box. <laughs> Too many S's. USS. <laughs> Conrad. Like USSS. Um, I do like the color scheme on the board. It's kind of nice. Um, but this one. Self destruct. Crusher, Incinerator, Erdlock. I don't know much about this one, to be honest. So I'll have to wait and find out. Now that I've went through those, now I've realized I've forgotten to put killers in here, so I'll do that real quick. So I want the big bath wolf side. And then what else? So the intruders one, and then also... Okay, so luckily I just forgot on two. Two more. <laughs> I mean. side again. <clears throat> I 
come on, Bailey, and put everything in the box. <laughs> like, all in one sec. That'll work. I'm gonna play that one first anyway, it's fine. <laughs> And away it goes, and then lastly the intruder. So, intruder side. So yeah, I have to say, me personally, I the ones I'm most looking forward to are the intruders, the organism, and the ratchet lady. The other two, um, the Evermorth and the Big Bad Wolf. I'm just kind of, uh, I'm not a big alien. Uh, extraterrestrial kind of gal which I get that the organism is kind of like that but again I love the I love the the like kind of like the ultimate reveal of like do you have a traitor among you or like did this uh, infected victim get turned into an organism I like that the not knowing the mystery all for it I also like how too they, um, you know, have different artwork on each side, so you can kind of pick your pick your preference and like put it in that way. And then it's also cool because you can set this on your shelf, either like face out and open and just show kind of like this, or with the cover actually on. Very neat. Okay, so I think I have all my girls. I think, <laughs> and their special stuff over here. So I believe we can put the miniatures back down here. I have their red. Like so beautiful casting crew, very nice. Love that. And that one goes here. And then we have the box of props. And so I think I think all of this can just stay here. Oh yeah, so here here, I guess I could put these girls. I'm trying to decide if I should just put I'll put them in the casting crew. So Constance and um Julia here. These are actually from The Dark Corner, which I have also backed on Kickstarter. Uh, it's, I don't know when that's supposed to ship out. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think it's getting near by any chance, so <laughs> I haven't quite put it on my radar yet. Uh, but this is by Lucky Duck and Van Ryder combined, and so it's kind of another like more like Chronicles of Crime-ish meets like Detective City of Angels is what I, um, which is, you know, two games from those those people brought together so I feel like they kind of just like brought some of those aspects together and put it I'm very excited to get it but anyway so you can play um some of those characters as a final girl which I think is kind of cool just to promote their other game I wasn't sure if Agnes and Layla why they're separate if they are also part of um Dark Quarter maybe they are okay so I'm gonna actually open this back up and put the girls in here so only downside, I guess you don't have a mini for uh, the ones from Dark Quarter. Unless they come with the miniature over there, maybe you could just pull it over. Okay, so in our special box of props, so we have our Book of Desperate Deaths because we have these new, they go with these new die, the Desperation die. Um, we also have some signature action cards. So these are new unique action cards that are meant to be signature moves, sort of. <laughs> Special tool in the belt of your final girl she can make use of. So before starting a game, you choose or select one of them at random to use. Place it in the action card tableau as an available action card for purchase. Okay, so you just get to pick one, but then you could go purchase it. That will be your... Uh, States. We have some dodge, protect, ambush, double up, throw, intimidate, meditate, scavenge, discipline, and parkour. So that's cool. I feel like that will be handy maybe whenever you're trying to do certain killers, you know, like for instance, like if you have one that needs to search all the time, like adding in a scavenge would be like, perfect. I need something to help me with that. So cool. And then, of course, they made all the components much more chunky and deluxe. I love that. Okay, so I guess I'll just leave all this stuff in here for now because I don't 
at the moment I don't know where I'd want to sit it otherwise. I also have, so since I backed season one like with the first Kickstarter, so they also sit with the, so on season two what I got was the season two collection booster, I think maybe is what the, it was called, basically it was like to get everything again. Um, to get everything all in, but I already had all the first season one all in stuff. So with this though, apparently they had a few cards that they had corrections on. So these are supposed to go in those cards. Oh, Carolyn. <laughs> uh, it said in the in there that it's just mainly like typos and whatnot. Um, so, okay, and they have where they all go. Okay, so I think I'll just kind of wait until I each time I play one of them and then put them back in. So I'm going to put them just, oops, not on the floor. Actually, I might end up putting it in my core box. That way I... Whenever I go to play, I can remember to always get them out and put any new cards I need to in them. I'll put that in the core box too, if it'll fit. Okay, so cast and crew, box of prompts. Okay, play mats are up in the VCR box up there, and then bonus features. Okay, so this one, yep, so, oh yeah, I already put some of this stuff in here. So I have my series two uh, lore and stereo book, and then the feature film rule book. And then also, if you would have got the gruesome death books, they also will store in here. I ended up, I didn't get those, um, at least not yet. I could always get them probably late on Van Rider's website if I wanted to, but... So far, I think I'm okay. Okay. All right. So we have these season two vehicle miniatures. So I wonder where I should put those at. I wonder if they... Let's see where they say to put the vehicle miniatures. Okay, feature on the location side, store the locations, vehicle miniature. Okay, so I was actually supposed to put these in earlier, and I did not. So I'll just wait again until I, I think until I play, and then I'll just remember to put the, put the vehicle mini in when I do that. So for now, I'll just kind of open this up. cool so we have um a raft i guess <laughs> i guess this is what that is since it's a vehicle um and then a little snowmobile how cute I'll try to show that off for you guys better snowmobile the helicopter cute um and the helicopter is what we need on the the organism i believe to in order to save people you have to actually uh send them on the helicopter in a way oh this must be for the nurse ratchet you get a nice hospital bed hilarious um then i'm guessing this one's the evamorph some kind of a looks like a whatever you call those guys. Um, it's called mechs, is that right? <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm out of my depth in there. Uh, and a scooter, classic. Okay, so again, I'll just hang on to these boxes for a little bit until I get everything put into the killers because I've opened these at this point so many times. <laughs> Oops, that. 
So then I did want to get out. Um, I wanted to see if they thought that these. So in the box of props, okay, I wanted to see. They did actually leave the deluxe tokens in there. So, okay, I guess I'll just put them back then. They didn't think they wanted it to go in the core box. Let me just check out the core, core box for a moment. Whoop. Nice. So I haven't opened my season one big box yet. Um, so I'll go ahead and take these out because we'll be able to put the girls away. So I feel, I don't know, I think I'm going to put my... Take the girls out. Yeah, so here's all the red and the pink. So this must be why they didn't give me any red on the other one. Yeah, I'm just going to store them in here because that way I can get it out um, each time I need it. Okay. And again, I was going to put these in here as well so I can correct those. And then we have the bird miniatures. So I've actually never played um, Tear from the Above yet. I, I did get it when I um, got the first season, but I just, for some reason, have never added them in. So I think the birds can be added in addition to a killer, or I think you can play against the birds as your killer as well. Again, I haven't tried, so if I'm wrong, sorry. <laughs> Woo! It's a lot of birds, you guys. It's terrifying. <laughs> okay, so I don't think I should need this anymore. Okay, I always keep these little guys. I think, I think I do. I'm trying to decide if I ended up keeping these sheets or if I just keep, I think I, maybe I just keep the inside sheets. <clears throat> I don't think I have those sitting anywhere else at the moment. Okay, so let's open up. Um, I also have a mystery box, but I will open it for you just in case. Um, I will take the plastic off, but I will open it in case you have not gotten yours and you want to see for your, yourself with your eyes. Um, for the first time opening your secret box. And uh, see one vehicle minis. We have another helicopter, golf cart, cop car, bicycle, and a motorboat. 
I have used the golf cart like one plane before like obviously not the miniature but I was trying to think like what all um, I've used a helicopter and I haven't used the boat or the cop car or the bicycle but the golf cart and the helicopter those have both come out for me before during the game I like the bike it's nice it's a nice bike <laughs> I don't know anything about bicycles by the way put that out there <laughs> but I think it looks like a nice bike okay dun, 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 dun. so we'll open our season one box here so the other great thing is, so Final Girl typically sets behind me, whoops, uh, behind that chair right over there normally. And so um, all of those boxes on that shelf are kind of this size because I usually I usually organize my shelves by both color and then size, because but size bothers me more. But size bothers me the most. I don't like to go on a shelf where it goes like this. So I just like to have all the same boxes. So I was really excited when I knew that as soon as I knew that these boxes were coming, that's why I allowed them to sit on that shelf because I was like, I know this box is coming and it's going to be a similar size to Wonderland's War and um, Cthulhu Death May Die. It might be Wonderland's War though, actually, how thick this is. Um, but anyway, so I was very excited because now my, my shelf can finally be even. And the play mats have been like sitting like over there randomly, so. Also, sorry if I hit my mic. Um, amateur hour, as per usual, on Botany and Board. <laughs> We're getting there, you guys, slowly but surely. I learn things all the time, you know, like don't do, don't hit your mic. Don't let your necklace rub on your mic. Yeah, I just think this is so nice, though, too, that they, um, this is very, very helpful to have like what is supposed to go and where because there is a lot of stuff at this point. Um, as you can see, I don't know how long this uh, thing has been going, but I'm still over here organizing away, you know. Okay, so let's get all my stuff over here. There's those birds. Yep. Very cool. I'm interested to see if I have a. I want to look at both of the covers. Um, I definitely think that season one so far, as far as matching up with. Um, season one, I would say, matches up with me a little bit better than the season two um, theme wise. Because I, whenever I grew up, I watched a lot of horror movies, but it seems like that, like Primary on Maple Lane, that was way more my style than um, like the Alien or thing. Okay, <clears throat> this box smells very fresh. <laughs> I think it's the like big styrofoam cube. Slash vision. So yeah, so this is my new playmat <laughs> set. So I have the or new playmat box to store it in. So this is what they shipped the first season um, playmat in before it had this storage system. But I just kept my box as something to put my playmats in. Now I have an official box. Nice bloody box. That's what everybody wants. Nice bloody, bloody buddy box. <laughs> it really does smell like spray paint. Okay. If you haven't got your copy yet, you'll understand. <laughs>
playmats. So I suppose I don't really need this box anymore. I always get like sentimental about weird stuff where I'm like, well, is there anything I need to put in this box? Probably not. <laughs> Probably part ways. Unless I wrap someone's gift in it for Christmas or something, they'll be like, what? <laughs> so. features and our casting Oh no, more, uh, <laughs> more finale cards. That means I have to open up more stuff. Okay, so yep, we have one to put in each one. So again, I'm gonna put this, I think, in my core box so that I can work on sorting stuff as soon as I, it'll just be a mental reminder to me that like when I play season one, I need to make sure I put all my stuff back. So we have the season one feature film rule book. It's interesting. So they gave me a new rule book. Like, what's the difference? Oh, so. Oh, this is the overall final girl rule book, maybe, and this is just the feature film. Okay, that would make sense, I guess. Like, this would be... Like, maybe you're supposed to store this in your core box or something. Oh, and they actually have... Is this going to have the special... Because it has a special setup and special rules. I wonder if it, like, replaces the need for all of these. Um... Okay, so the puppet one, where's he at? Carnival. <clears throat> Just wanted to compare this with like Geppetto. Okay, Puppet Master. So it has components, special setup. Okay, so I think maybe they just allowed me to where I don't have to keep these little things anymore, perhaps. If I don't want them. Of course I do. <laughs> so puppets, yeah. So I actually, I don't mind having these though, because whenever I play it, like for instance, um, instead of like keeping this rule book out, I actually can just sit this like beside to know that I can reference any special rules really quickly. Um, but this is nice as well. And it's cool that now they have this new achievement thing. You know how I like to get with achievements where I like to just make sure I do all of them. Well, I'm going to put this and all of these <laughs> here, this, and this, Lauren Scenario book. I really like the Lauren Scenario book. That, um, like, really love that. Like, if they didn't have that, like, whenever I first got Final Girl, that's how I just, like, went. I just opened up the, the lore book and just, like, started going through. So I played... Um, and the way it kind of works in the lore book is usually so you, you kind of get like a story. So for instance, I did Hans first. So you play Hans in his main, uh, his, his actual, you know, like camp happy trails. 
but then it goes through and then you're going to play Hans on each of the different places. So that's how I started with Wonder Girl. I just like, I got really, so I know Hans the most because I literally went from all of these and played through on each of the different maps. And then I played through each of the feature films themselves after that in each set, like how it was supposed to be. And then I played um, the Ghost Hunters for you guys actually on a stream if you guys haven't watched that one. Um, and then I think, I don't think I, I want to say I picked like one of these, another one of these to just randomly, um, I haven't played very, this is my least favorite of season one. It just, it has like way too much going on in it, I feel like, or something with the, the extra, Oh, the thing, but it goes by the killer. There's like a, some kind of, again, I've only played it once and it just wasn't my favorite and I kind of didn't get it back out again, but the rest of them I really love. Um, oh, yep. And then, so here's a whole extra, extra thing actually for Terror from Above. So I didn't even get back to this part yet, but I love that they have this. And then the backstories for the girls and then also some tips for playing them. Just in case you hadn't popped that open yourself, I thought I'd show you. Um, okay. So casting crew... So Terra from above, right there. Finally have a spot. And then all those birds. It's kind of sad because this is also like nicely organized. I kind of hate like putting it <laughs> just like in this. But. No more birds flew in with the girls. Should have done that. Okay, so. Again, we have our secret envelopes and these. Okay, so we have Adelaide, Selena. I have been Selena, actually on that same stream. That's the one we had with Creech Manor. Um, Nancy, I've also been Nancy. Saw me, I have been her as well. Melanie. I don't know if I've been Melanie before. Sheila. Been Sheila. Um, Charlie. Yes, been Charlie. She's the in the carnival from the blood one. Um, Alice. Also been Alice. Barbara. I have not been Barbara. And... Uh, Rico, I don't know that I've been her for sure either. And Lori, I love Lori. She's like her little miniature. So she comes from Camp Happy Trails. But she, if I can, maybe. And my nails look really bad. I shouldn't have even done that. <laughs> Need to repaint them. Um, yeah, I like her miniature a lot. She's the best. She also is like wearing an outfit that's like practically like what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> so maybe I'm a little biased, but I've also made myself a final girl. So I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but in the season one Kickstarter, um, there is, so it's probably I'm trying to think where you'd find it now, but if you go to the series season one Kickstarter updates, there was one that was where you could make your own final girl. So I've actually made one, um, cause White and I one day took funny pictures with, uh, <laughs> we were doing yard work and whatnot, so we were trying to do that, uh, oh, what is it? It's like those farmers, you know, that have, like, the pitchfork and whatnot. But anyway, so we had, like, a, a hoe and a rake or something, like, and a shovel. And so I have, like, a very, like, sinister um, final girl picture and little card. I just haven't printed it out yet. But so one of these days, I'll, I will myself show up as my little final girl and get that on the stream as well. 
Uh, but yeah, so I think we've, for the most part, we've got almost everything. So I guess I'll put these back in here. So the only thing I guess it doesn't have anywhere to put is, is these special things. So I have my other secret, secret season one item back over there as well. And so I guess there's nowhere to put those. You will have to just leave those out to the side, but that's okay. I don't know. I just, I've never liked that one. You guys have to let me know. Like, am I just being too harsh on this one? Do I just need to play it more and then maybe I wouldn't dislike it as much or... But I have nine other feature films that I can play, so no worries if I don't want to play that one as much. Um, the other thing I also could do is try to do a different killer at the at the slaughter or at the sacred groves, and because I don't know that I, I don't have a problem with the sacred groves, it's just I don't like it how Inkanyamba Inkanyamba works, <laughs> or how to say his name because I don't know exactly how. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So there's two fully filled up um, series one and series two. What do you guys think? What do we, what do you guys like the best? I, again, I, I'm partial to this one. Like, I love this look. This is just like, to me, like, minus this guy, um, like classic, classic horror movie. And I'm like, yes, that, I can get behind that. And then this one, bless. Ratchet Lady's cool. Knock at the girl. I don't like the look of this, but I do, I love that. Like, again, the, the reveal, that will be really, really fun. So, and I, I like the look of the big bad wolf. He was just initially, like, thematically, I was like, that seems a little tame. But until he kills me, I'll be tame. <laughs> He's probably, like, one of the hardest, like, brutal brutal killers or something. Um, yeah, so that was it. So let me show you also. Well, first off, let me dump my little trash, and then we can look at the top of the boxes real fast and see which one we think uh, looks the best here. Okay, here we go. I wanted to get a big comparison of season one, season two. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I mean, Han's like so good, but the big bad wolf, I mean, he looks really cool. And I also, I do like the, the color scheme with a little bit of the, like the pink and purple hue coming in. Like that is pretty cool. Um, but, but yeah, I think as far as the cover wise, they, yeah, they did an awesome job too with the artwork of making it, <clears throat> it all go really well, even despite these were quite a bit different. Um, but yeah, very cool. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, this is probably not the most exciting video you've ever seen, but <laughs> just a little casual hangout while I got my stuff all organized. So, um, and again, I'm going to be on vacation next week, but I should have a few videos that are popping up that Wyatt's going to be, I've already recorded them. He just needs to edit them. So those will kind of go be going up. We usually try to, we've been trying to do a uh, solo Sunday, effectively, and which is really easy for me to do because I do play games solo quite often. <laughs> so I'm trying to get up a solo Sunday. I have a how to play of Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition coming out. And uh, I also have a solo playthrough of Noble Luna um, and this unboxing. And then whenever I get back, I will start jumping in to playing some of these. And so the first one we're going to hit up is the organism. Um, and then the only other things I've played on the channel, actually, so I've played Poltergeist and I played Dr. Fright. So I'll, I'll first like kind of switch back and get some of the season two material. So we'll probably go the organism and then probably 
I can, I can put up a poll. That way you guys can let me know which one you want to do the most. But I'm in between like the intruders or the ratchet lady, I would say. Or maybe I need to do the big bad wolf and maybe it just changed my mind. Um, and then the other one though, I'd like to get Han sometime on the channel just because I love that one. And also Grimble in the Blood is a lot of fun. So in Kenyaba, I probably won't have on the channel. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Unless you vote for it, in which case I will because I will do whatever to make my subscribers happy. <laughs> within reason of course but so with that you guys thank you so much for hanging out um if you got final girl i hope yours is arriving soon and you get it all organized and you enjoy it um but leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or what you want to see on the channel um i would appreciate it so thank you guys so much and i'll see you next time